uh, and so we're going to be making uh, uh, tacos and uh, burritos uh, today in, that, in my style and then and, and now and we'll fit a buffer with it with that uh, as we get onto it okay let's see you in the kitchen <laughs> <laughs> Every once in a while, then I do like to do something different, but uh, this is going by real fast. And I think, as if it didn't, it was going to be a good hour long something video, and I didn't want to deal with that. Yes, I think got the beans out too. And grab something else. What in the world did I grab? Oh, I got the, the seasoning packets. Now this crazy thing that I'm uh, that I just put over there that's a that's a meat chopper, a ground beef chopper. Uh, um, you can get those. Uh, can't really find them in the store. I've looked. I've tried to look, but I can't find them. Um, did find them online. I also found out uh, that uh, you can get them through Pamper Chef, and I am a consultant for them. Uh, so um, in the uh, I'll leave uh, my sites uh, for uh, for the Pamper Chef um, in the. Uh, in, I'll leave a link to it in, down below. Uh, the video here. I think so. In case uh, you want to, um, they do have the the hamburger choppers. And they, and they work really good. Now I'm coring the lettuce. They're just fairly simple. If you've ever worked with lettuce before. I'm slicing, you know, just basically like this. And then I'm going to lay them flat and then and more or less uh, julienne the slices from here. And I think so I get, you know, strips. And I think it's a little bigger than a julienne, but I haven't made a, a uh, knife skills um, a video yet, which I'm going to here soon. When you're wiping off the knife with your hand, be very careful about that. Especially if you have a very, very sharp knife. <laughs> well, I was going to use that bowl, except that bowl was still dirty. So I had to use another bowl. <laughs> Different bowl. Sorry it's so bouncy, and then that's what happens when you're wearing the camera on your chest. And never mind the ribs right there, and that's for another time. I was going to do it, except I made them up, and I forgot to record me making them up. So, screw that all up. <laughs> but I am going to be getting some more. I was sharpening the knife, and after you sharpen the knife, and everything, always make sure that you wipe it off. And it's a big must, especially with these, with the tomatoes and everything. You need a sharp knife; otherwise, it doesn't work too very well. You end up squishing the tomato. Let's see, have a little more fun here. Let's bring this about here-ish. There. Now I'll probably be hurt a little bit better. But yeah, I did. 
and just to, you know, just regular dice on the tomatoes. Or if you don't want to bother with this noise and anything, you can get, you know, think of canned tomatoes, it still works. <laughs> or forego the whole idea and uh, you can just, um, uh, you know, use a salsa and then tomatoes that's in the salsa, you can use that. I bet if you want the, the uh, texture of the tomato itself and everything, you need to get the chunky. And, and actually, I don't really use, I don't get salsa. I get picante sauce. But that's me. To each their own. And no, I did not just throw that into the atmosphere. And there's a bag over off to my left. And everything that I put that in there. <laughs> there's a bag from the lettuce. Yeah, if I didn't if I didn't compress this and speed it up, it, it would have been all bad. And when you're doing something like this, if you, you know, you're getting your cleaning up your cutting board or what have you, and then you, you, you want to use the back side of your knife, not the front, or not the, where the blade part is, and everything, because you can screw your blade up royally. I forgot what Jerry is, and then, here we go, and everything's not quite defrosted yet. If I was smart, I would have uh, defrosted it first. The bottom one's getting defrosted real good. I don't know what I did in the background there. I just... I think I was going to go do something and I forgot what I was doing. I mean, uh, the, the, this, uh, you know, the lettuce and tomatoes were RTEs. You know, they nothing to really worry about too much. And then we got the onions and we got the, what is that in my hand? That is something. <laughs> Oh, yeah I, don't know. yeah, I forgot I got that in there. <laughs> okay, well, I stopped it, and then, and then I, then I, you know, redid it again. And as you can see, and everything, that's the, uh, the hamburger chopper. And, you know, it's a lot easier than using the spatula or spatula. Uh, for words and anything where you sit there and you have that sit and it, it, very very tedious and, and uh, yeah I got the the oven mitt on and everything because that pit, that's a cast iron skillet and if anybody's worked with those you know what happens to the handle it gets hot and that and you got that uh, somewhat chopped down and then put the lid back on it so it can brown up brown up some more and I think I was trying to figure out what to do. And I got uh, some taco shells and the big, big uh, burrito shells. These are 10 inches. And everything. They're very good burrito shells. All flour, of course. And I am going to be doing a. Uh, Enchiladas, and I said that's for a later date. Um, I'm gonna be doing now. I'm gonna get the you know big uh, corn tortillas for the enchiladas. And this is to how much onion you want. And then I get the thing we got the the red purpley onions there. And I think we come in with some yellows here in a bit. Yeah, if you ever, if I think this might be going too fast you know, when I put it down, but um, yeah, and, and oh no, those are the white onions. Excuse me, I am sorry. Oh, that's right, we don't have any yellow onions right now. <laughs> I 
yes, it is nice and that thing. If you get the, if you get the crunch from the uh, from the onions and what have you, but you know, but then again, you don't get the seasoning in with it when you put like you do with you put it in the meat. But uh, um, the, uh, anyways, as I was saying about the chopper, that uh, it's uh, slanted on one side of the handle. And then it's then let's see, we got to, my Jerry getting in the way. I was trying to do something here. And I got some uh, this taco seasoning. I, I forgot what it was and that thing because it went by so fast. But uh, it's not like the, the you know the the it was a, a special kind. It's like a carne asada, I believe, and everything. And I also got some fajita mix um, seasoning too, because uh, the place where I went um, uh, to get it and everything didn't have it have a uh, taco seasoning. So I just got the fajita and had fun with it. But uh, you know, like, like I said, like I said before, if you've seen any of my other videos, you do what you want and everything. This is just a basis of what I like to do. You don't have to actually follow it step by step. As that just be retarded. But it's slanted on... The, the Going back to that chopper again, I swear to goodness, I'm getting bad at that. Um, <laughs> I'm sorry. Uh, um, it's slanted on one end and everything, so, and it fits right into your palm. Beautifully, and then comfortably... Comfortably... Uh, comfortably boy, I cannot talk. Um, my apologies. And, uh, and so it doesn't stab you in the hand. As you're doing that, because you know, getting that ground down or uh, chopped up, and it, it takes some work. Yeah, neighbor, uh, yeah, they brought those over from uh, the little coffee shop down the street from us. And they brought those over, and they, they were throwing them out, and I think he grabbed them and brought them to me. And I was like, sweetness. <laughs> because I was trying to figure out how I was going to, you know, do. All of this, and then, yeah. Pain in the butt. Let's put them over here. <laughs> and then there's just wax paper, parchment paper, whatever you want to put it down as. And it was really cheap over at Winco. Yes, I have a mess, I had a mess of uh, taco sauces from Taco Bell. <laughs> Says we're not done with everything yet. Everything that that pot is for the beanies. And I got two cans, or no? I just that's a, that's what I grabbed. That's what that was. The other thing and I grabbed the uh, the enchilada sauce that's right there, and I'm opening now. Now yeah, I only use one thing of beans. I believe. And be very careful on those edges. Except then again, if anybody knows that. <laughs> you know, you, you, you people watching this name thing are probably going, Doy, no kidding. <laughs> That's what you think. But uh, red enchilada sauce. Now you can go green if you feel like it, and they no big deal. I almost forgot to put the cheese in. Gotta have the cheese. Couldn't find any Mexican cheese and everything. So you know, Mexican blend cheese, I should say. And everything. So I went with Kobe Jack and everything. Still was good though. Yes, and then we had our brewskis. Yeah, and a Modelo and everything that didn't have a label on it. That was pretty wild. <laughs> we are liking. We liked our. We like our Modellos. They're good.
Yeah, I was just saying anything. You know, the point was up here, or uh, up at the heel of my hand, and and the rest of it was slanted, and everything fit perfectly into my palm. And if you didn't catch that, just rewind it a little bit, and then you'll see it again. Now, I don't advise using a, a metal spoon in a pan, uh, um, mainly because then you can scratch it up and get it into your food. But if you do it right without touching the sides or the bottom, you can get away with it. Especially with the non-stick pans and everything, you definitely don't want to use a, use a metal anything instrument on uh, on those uh, because then I think you, you, you scrape... Uh, you scrape up the Teflon and everything, and then it gets into your food, and it's all nastified, and can make you sick if you're not careful. But that pot was, uh, yeah, I was trying to turn on the fan, it was getting hot, because <laughs> I had the oven on. <laughs> yeah, I only had the oven on until 350, but still, it was getting hot in that kitchen. Yes, and that handle was hot. Very hot. What did I grab? I grabbed... Oh, I grabbed another thing of beans. I did have two of them in there. I thought one had been enough and everything. Apparently, I was wrong. Damn boy, was I wrong. Yeah, it's kind of hard, kind of difficult when you're, uh, and she's putting the, the, the taco sauces I showed earlier into the hamburger meat. Yeah, they, it was really good. I think she even put a couple, or a few in the, uh, in the beans too. Probably see it, see it here in a little bit. Got a little over, a little under nine minutes left of this video. Cool. <laughs> Yep, she's sure enough dead. There it is. She's over on my left. Yeah, she was wearing her uh, her bracelet that she just recently got. That thing from uh, a friend of ours. That thing that's um, it's a uh, aunt of uh, Panda Bear's uh, boyfriend's Billy's. His uh, his aunt, I believe, if I remember correctly. If I'm wrong, I'm wrong. I apologize. My bad. Um. And I think that Jen, she has her, you know, her little uh, uh, paparazzi uh, show thing that, that's on all the time. <laughs> or not all the time, but it's on a, like a bi-weekly basis, if I remember correctly. Something to that effect. And I think she really likes that bracelet, too. What was I... I think I was trying to figure out something, and... No, I think I was. Uh, me and Jerry Bear were talking. And oh, that's right. I was asking to kick it up a notch and the thing, and put some Frank's Red Hot in both the meat and the uh, the beans. It's a powder. And sorry about the jiggling there and everything. I was trying to get it up from the bottom. It was all caked in there. There's a Chinese five spice and everything. Be very generous. Not generous with that. Um, limited on that. Because with that and thing, you will um, end up uh, over. It'll overpower everything else. This is some chipotle, uh, chipotle, excuse, uh, Cholula. And I put in there, and I think it was a, a sweet habanero sauce. And got some paprika. Sorry about the shaking. <laughs> And again, I think as I said, and I think this the thing is on my chest. Uh, I've got a harness, and it and it uh, sits on my chest. So sorry about that. Usually, I usually use uh, just uh, you know, cru uh, not crushed, 
Hey, you can say crushed. No, not crushed. It's granulated garlic, but it's fresh garlic. Except I didn't want to fiddle fart with it this time. <laughs> so I just used the powder. And they, my, mom would, my mom would probably say, you know, and they, and it's okay, you can use that stuff, but... I like to use, uh, and, you know, the, uh, the garlic that you get in the jars uh, that you've seen, probably seen in my other videos. If you've watched any of my other videos. Okay, get stuff out of the way. Because everything is, like, ready to go. And, and uh, I'm... Okay, get this. Move this over yonder. Move the cheese. I'm going to get that, too. Okay, get the can opener out of the way. I'm going to start with the burritos first. I'm going to make up the burritos. I'm talking to Jerry about something, except I stopped it. Okay, let's make up the, and, uh, oh yeah. Move this over to, have uh, Jerry put that over on the oven, on the stove top. Sour cream. Don't need much if you spread it around like this. But you make it the way you want to. You want the way you want to stack it up. You can do it your way. Not a big deal. This just worked out easier for me. So I didn't. Uh, if you want to put it in word, cross contaminate everything. But even though we're <laughs> now we discuss. Uh, that's what I was probably discussing with uh, with Jerry. Before I started this, and the thing is how to how to layer it up. And then, so we went sour cream, beans, the cheese, then the meat, and onions and stuff. And some of the lettuce, not too much. <laughs> some tomatoes, and uh, I was looking in there for something. Oh yeah, I thought I forgot I had another thing I had left over salsa in there. Or picante sauce in this case. A little bit of that. Even though I got the big one over down there on the left, right, and you know, basically right in front of me. Wrap it up. Um, uh, my uh, suggestion would be to instead of doing the sides first, uh, you'll see on the next one and everything what I'm talking about and everything is do the the under part or the bottom part first, and then then the sides and then roll it up. And everything is that kind of. Uh, Practically backfired on me. And I do like two or three of these. And then uh, we go on to uh, when they're in the oven. And how long for. And then, uh, then the finished product. And then this is over. Anything. If you liked, if you liked the videos, anything, please uh, hit the uh, smash the like button to death, um, and also uh, and see, see see this is what I was talking about. You go that way first, and then the sides, and then roll it up, and everything. And you get better looking burrito too. Um, but then you smash the like button, and everything. Hit the subscribe, and everything, so you can know, and also, um, uh, so you can. Uh, and uh, hit the notification button also, so you can uh, uh, be uh, you can be uh, yeah you can find out and everything when new videos come up. And I think so. I think I'd really appreciate it. A whole lot and that thing, and uh, I'm gonna be doing some more um, with the pamper chips and stuff.
Okay. Okay, they're in the oven. I almost forgot to... And there's the tacos there, too. And they're saying, for 25 minutes on 350. And they sorry, and then I was... And the gloves on, because that's going to be hot. <laughs> And there they are. Okay. Thank you for watching. And everything. Also, don't forget. And everything. Subscribe and like and, and hit the notification button bell. So you can see more videos. Okay. Thank you for watching.